Hey everybody, welcome to the second ever edition of my most anticipated manga releases, this time for the month of February. Pretty exciting. Now, a couple things. This is the second time doing it, so I'm still perfecting these types of videos. I don't want to highlight, like, uh, for example, uh, Urusei Yatsura is coming out at the last volume. I can't really recommend that because I'd be asking people to, oh, you want to get this? Then you need to get like 16 other books. So I'm mostly focusing on volume ones or collector's editions or hyped up releases and stuff like that. So here are 12 manga that are coming out in the month of February that I think are worth checking out. Let's get started. First one on the list, Shoha Shoten. I did a video on this manga when it was first coming out, and I quite enjoy it. It's written by Akinari Asakura and drawn by Takashi Obata. Shoha Shoten tells the story of young Azamichi Shijima, who has secretly been practicing to be a comedian. His classmate Taiyo Hiyashikata also has a similar aspiration, so it should be no surprise that these two are bound to team up to take the comedy world by storm, one event or venue at a time. Shoha Shoten has wonderful art and an out of the ordinary premise for a jump square title. The dynamic between the two lead characters is great, and I thought the jokes and humor translated pretty well into English. Also noteworthy, each volume of this series only contains three chapters, but fear not, they are twice the length of a regular one, so you aren't really missing out. If you want something a little bit different, be sure to grab this for your collection. Box head time, you got Wotakoi Love is Hard for Otaku. It's finally being released, it's been delayed multiple times. In this format, you'll get all six omnibus editions of the series, plus an exclusive sticky notepad. If you don't know what the series is about, in it we follow Narumi, an otaku in hiding thanks to her previous dating experiences of men dumping her after she has revealed her secret. After a chance encounter at her job with her childhood friend Hirotaka, who almost exposes Narumi's secret, she comes with a counter proposal. Why doesn't she just date him instead? This rom-com from Fujita is a favorite of many and has received an anime and live action adaptation in the past, so I'm sure it will sell pretty well in this box set format. Break of Dawn from Tetsuya Imai, the entire story in one volume. In this sci-fi story, we follow a young kid named Yuma in the year 2038 who is obsessed with the return of a comet. But on a particular day, while sneaking onto the roof of an apartment building, he finds something grander and not of this world. Now Yuma and friends must work together to uncover a secret that has been slumbering on Earth for years. This manga received an anime adaptation last year from Zero G Studios, it was a movie, if you're interested in checking that out. But if you're a sci-fi fan, I highly recommend picking up Break of Dawn. Marmalade Boy Collector's Edition Volume 1 The long out-of-print 90s shoujo manga written by Wataru Yoshizumi is returning thanks to Seven Seas Entertainment. The manga was originally put out by Tokyopop back in the early 2000s. Fast forward to 2023 and we've got an upcoming prestige release for this beloved classic, condensing the original eight volumes into six oversized editions. If you don't know what Marmalade Boy is, we follow the story of Miki Koishikawa as her parents decide to move in with another couple turning Miki's world upside down. Now in a house of four parents and a cute stepbrother, Miki isn't exactly thrilled with her new situation, and though she finds you cute, he's also kind of a jerk. Confessions of a Shy Baker, a slice of life BL romance by Masaomi Ito. The story centers around Toshimitsu Yamamura, who runs a real estate business, and Genta Tsubakisaka, a caregiver. Both live together contentedly. In his spare time, Toshimitsu loves baking and making candies, and coincidentally, Genta loves eating them. While their day-to-day -day lives might be full of difficulties and stress, the time they spend together at their home is a sweet treat. While I was preparing for this video, Confessions of a Shy Baker caught my eye for its simplicity, wholesomeness, and acceptance. The artwork is breezy and fun to look at, and the attention to detail with the sweets is sure to win readers over. Chojin 
X from Tokyo Ghoul creator Sui Ishida. Two high school students that get involved in a tale of heroes and monsters, helping out the survivors of a plane crash. Tokyo and Azuma are attacked by a superhuman mutant called a Chojin, supernatural beings with powers stronger than your regular human. In the scuffle, the duo are forced to inject themselves with a mysterious drug that turns you into a Chojin. However, Tokyo is the only one that exhibits any side effects, becoming a monster himself. This is a dark, humorous horror story that has great artwork and perfect for fans of Tokyo Ghoul. Mermaid Scales and the Town of Sand. If you have been following my channel, you may be aware with my fascination with the supernatural, the folklores, urban legends, and yokai, all that cool stuff. In this case, it's a manga inspired by Ningyo or mermaids. In this story by Yoko Komori, we follow the character of Tokiko. Her parents have recently broken up. She and her father have moved from the city to a coastal town to live with her grandmother. As Tokiko begins to live out a new life in school, certain memories start to surface that may involve the ocean and getting saved by a mermaid. Again, if you enjoy stories of the supernatural kind, but with slice of life elements thrown at you, you'll be right at home with Mermaid Scales. There are many books coming out this month, but for me, I would say this is my hyped release of the month. Sweet Poolside by Shuzo Oshimi is a short story about two middle school students in their swimming club. The story follows a brief moment in their youth where puberty and body hair take center stage. Ota is a bullied, hairless young boy, while Ayako is the opposite with her abundant hair. Things get stranger when Ayako has a most unusual request for young Ota. Now, I know it sounds odd, but Oshimi's work deals heavily in the uh, perversion of innocence, uh, first loves, youth, coming of age stories, that sort of thing. And I'll be frank, this isn't Oshimi's best material in terms of art, and the story will probably leave you wanting more, but I do recommend checking it out as I think it's one of his strongest one-shots that he's created. The Snake Who Loved a Sparrow by Enna Natsuo. This supernatural romance BL is about a sparrow named Komazu that is fearful of snakes until one day he is saved from a rampaging boar by a white snake named Shirato. The sparrow lashed out in fear but realized he probably misjudged the snake and decides to befriend him. Predator and natural prey coming from different species and social classes can love overcome the laws of nature despite the differences in their way. You can find out with this release from Tokyopop. The art is pretty damn good in my opinion, and I enjoy when someone can take stories and mash them together to create something unique, such as the case here with the snake who loved a sparrow. The second box set for this month goes to Don't Toy With Me Miss Nagatoro. The famous rom-com is being collected by Kodansha in box set form with the first six volumes here and a bonus item. The time of the recording, I still don't know what that bonus item is. So it could be a sticky notepad, it could be a poster, it could be a guidebook, who knows. Nagatoro is a freshman in high school who loves teasing and torturing her older male classmate. What is her motivation and why does Senpai put up with her? Does Nagatoro just want to create misery for Senpai or maybe she secretly likes him? Box sets have become increasingly popular over the years, so I have no doubt this will breathe new life into an already popular series and sell pretty damn well. A Home Far Away by Teki Yatsuda. This drama romance uh, BL is published by Kuma. Follows a young man in 1990 named Alan who is currently lost and searching for direction in life until he meets Hayden, a free spirited cook. Alan may not know where his life is headed, but at least now he has someone to lean on. Filled with new feelings and many new challenging experiences may force Alan to find his path on the road. I don't know about you, but I happen to enjoy period pieces in media. Books and films that take place in the early 90s are of interest to me. Plus, you add in the detailed artwork alongside this story of self-discovery and romance. You got me hooked. I'll probably check this out. 
Finally for this video, the invisible man and his soon to be wife. Another quirky rom-com mixed with the supernatural. This one follows a quiet and bashful woman named Yako working at a detective agency. Tonome, her boss, is kind, dapper, and quite the gentleman, except that he's also invisible. That ability might be perfect for work, but dating and romance is another matter entirely. Yako is blind and can sense when he's around. This manga has a fun twist on the invisible man with more of a slice of life slash romantic comedy aspect. It has the charm, fantastic character designs, and some really nice colored backgrounds. I highly recommend checking this out as well. So there you go, 12 releases for the month of February. Now, there are a lot of books coming out. I couldn't get to them all. I just wanted to put out 12 that I think are really neat that I think uh, you'll probably dig. But if you have other suggestions, other picks, let me know down below in the comment section what you're interested in getting. Thank you everybody for watching this video. That's gonna be it for now. Thank you to all who liked, subscribed and shared and all that fun stuff. A bunch of new people jumped on board and I'm super happy about that. Thank you. I hope you enjoy uh, the channel. We got much more content coming up, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be it for now. Thank you once again. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.